<laughs> Come on, you've got to find a book to give away. And it's got to be something I've read and I feel like something I won't be compelled to read again. Compelled to read again. So like, no, but there's sometimes great books. No, I know, but you could have just said that I really want to read again. No, no, that, that would be too... Girl, you me. use that vocab. Exactly. I, I read the dictionary at school to speak like this. <laughs> That was not a joke. That's I literally did used to read that the dictionary. Is a true story. Um, right, so let's go through great books that I've already read. Uh, the Prose Edda, fascinating stuff. Freshwater by Aquaka Emersey, fucking amazing. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice, nice, fluffy, and a great satire on society. Right, we haven't got time to go through the ins and outs of a duck's back end. Like, well, just find a good... love a We love a problematic love interest, Heathcliff till I die. Jokes. I just, yeah, like, Wuthering <laughs> Heights, Cavino. beginning bit good, halfway through boring. And then when he dies at the end, it's satisfying. <laughs> Goodbye, Heathcliff. But yeah, to be honest, I did start reading it again and I found it quite juvenile. Like, I found it a bit annoying that he died the same way. I swear he yeah, opened up like a window. Well, it's, it's like, all about... And it's like, come on, who dies from opening a window? <laughs> well, back in the day, everyone. <laughs> but no, like, I, I did start reading it again and I felt it was quite juvenile, but she did write this when she was really quite young. I mean, I wouldn't it's be like able to write that Mary at any age. Shelley, <laughs> Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein. I think it was her first draft. I don't know how long it took after that to perfect it when she was 18 years old. Do you know I what I was doing 18. at 18? Crazy. Do you know what I was doing at 18? <laughs> going to the dog <laughs> tour. <laughs> That's what you were doing, going to the dogs. That was quite yeah. good. At 18 years yeah. old, my life was going to the dogs. <laughs> Uh, bloody I don't really, what was I doing at 18? I was getting a degree, so you know, I wasn't completely throwing my life away. This is an amazing book. This is a book that everyone should read. Seasons of Migration to the North by Tayo Sally. Right, just find a book, I mate. I can't find one. <laughs> What's that scabby old thing? Uh, that is Isaac Asimov, a genius of science fiction. Okay, so maybe not that one. <laughs> Great essay collection. Made Who reads essays? I do. This is really, no, it's really beautiful. It's all about like slowing down, looking at nature and just being in the moment. Okay. Then you need a book on that? No, but it's just the way the writer <laughs> writes. It's poetic. It's, it's so easy to wind up. <laughs> Hang Kang is amazing. I'm going to sit here. Oh. Call me by your name, that's good. <laughs> uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, get rid of those. Lord of the Rings <laughs> until I die. <laughs> <gasps> Such a weird this thing. is my life. Hashtag nerd. I've read The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, and then Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King. I haven't read Unfinished Tales yet. No, oh, call yourself a fan. <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, oh. and this is really good. Brandon Sanderson. Are we basically establishing that you're not going to get rid of any of them? I don't know if I can. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to donate something. My though. hair just looks disgusting today. Um, you know what, I'm going to donate this fantasy book. I ever? read it because uh, there's not enough books for some reason. Like, you would think that elves would be in a lot of fantasy literature. But apart from Lord of the Rings, I've never really read anything that's really good. With elves are set from Norse mythology, but they don't really appear in it, and they're like in passing, so they're not really in it. But was that not good then? It, it was okay. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Yes, I'm not. I'm not going to read it again. Yeah, right. It's going. I, I do have the sequel, but I don't need to reread this to know what's going on because I can just look up a synopsis online. Yeah, let's do so, it. So say goodbye to defenders. Of I need to cut my fringe, not personally, Same. but. You know, a professional <laughs> needs to hack at it, please. I always hack at mine and then it always looks different and never great. So maybe I should learn from all the <laughs> Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. So let's go and see whether, this is really unflattering angle, you can see that right up my nostrils. We're gonna go see whether anyone has taken your feminist rantings. <laughs> it's not ranting, it's 
ni- um, Kim Ji Young, born 1982. And it's basically a story about an every woman's experience in South Korea. Yeah, we're going to see whether anyone's read it because I, I, how much do you bet that it's still in there? Uh, I think it's going to still be. In there. Oh, <laughs> it, it's it's a good book. It's like, I mean, I'm going to be pretentious, but the title is clever because, like I was saying, it's about an every woman. But in 1982, the most popular name for a woman was Ji Young. And Kim is the most popular surname in Korea, so it yeah. literally so is. So it's basically like a plain Jane. Yeah, like, I don't call her plain. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, that's it's, what it's every... Just, it's the universe, the unfortunate universal experience of a woman in modern society. Okay, and right. it crosses borders and countries. Okay, that's fine. But how much do you bet it's still in there? <laughs> uh, it's, it's still going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one wants to read it. <laughs> Let's see. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you no no one is going to have read it. What else did you put in there? You said you put something else in there as well. Um, Open Waters, which is a short story told in the second person about two young black artists in London. Yeah, no one's going to read that one either. <laughs> but I, I liked the book. Oh, it's just so random. <laughs> I, I liked the book, but I, I find second person really hard to read it must be quite jarring i would yeah, find it, so it, well, how's it so it's you yeah Ooh. <laughs> so it's like yeah i don't think i've ever read a book in second i don't think i've ever wrote anything in second person it's unusual like really unusual but the book is really poetic it's really beautiful but there's some books that i i know i won't ever read again because I won't get the same impact as I did with the first read. And also, like, I like the idea of communal things, like this little box. Yeah, it's it a is telephone kinda cute. box that people can share books in. Sorry, so a... I'm. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a bug, like, fussing in my ear. I so, get this, like, I get scared they're going to crawl in my ear and lay eggs or something. So, yeah, like, so it's sharing. Sorry, you're trying to be, like, really articulate and talking about sharing books yeah, with it's, it's just sharing and there's me books. talking about I'm scared that a bug's gonna lay eggs in my ears <laughs> so I, I think it's important to share important books okay well we're gonna with see whether the community agrees some here. oh wow okay I did not realize this so we've got some hang on let's turn it around soggy yeah that's kind of um, like so yeah this is <laughs> Angela oh is that she's one that you... oh that's the one from school yeah. I mean, I probably shouldn't say that. Is it actually? <laughs> no, I don't want people to know what yeah, school no, we went to. Still, we can have that. <laughs> yeah, look at these annotations. Dark and graphic. Potential to be corrupted. <laughs> so you um, no desire for. Are her. these all your personal notes? Yeah. From school. Willing victim. Symbol of death. Corruption. Tarnish. <laughs> Piece of meat. Sex and death. Foreboding. Opposition. Sounds like a good night out today. Childish, childish. <laughs> innocence lost. Yeah, no one wants to read your uh, your cast offs. <laughs> Beastliness or maleness. <laughs> <laughs> like we need to make it more that prominent. Scares. Like, could it sort of like hit <laughs> so people get intrigued? <laughs> Bloody chamber. Is that a Stephen King? I oh, know, the King. I thought it was a Stephen King. We need something to like make it sort of stand out, right? If nobody reads it now. Oh, Arabian Nights, that's another one of mine. I <laughs> had to study this at school, and when I realised that it wasn't. At school or uni? University. Oh, I was going to say. When I realised this was actually written by a French man who was taking. Ooh la la! <laughs> taking stories from Arabia or like the. the east and making them his own i was like it's not authentic then is it so she threw it's it in French, the trash it's a Frenchman's <laughs> just version. put it where it belongs then <laughs> yeah in the bin in the bin <laughs> so where do you normally put them do you normally uh, put them well, in i'd put them in there oh, and, over, and here. over here as well so have you how many have you donated do you reckon uh, a few so oh, then th- there's another one that's <laughs> world of warcraft book i did start reading it but it was really shitly written so i was like no i'm not reading this i like the game but the literature around it's crap <laughs> is it like fan fiction uh well it's written by professionals but oh. it's at that level yeah it's, it's still rubbish it's like 
based on the game, so then they like make. So is it all around here as well? Oh my god, is there's it loads. Here as well? Yeah. So that there, there could be more of your tit. <laughs> I'm joking, that's the wrong way to I actually think it's really lovely, like, especially, like, imagine if you actually found, like, a decent... Oh, my sister is a si I'd listen to this on audiobook, it's really good. <laughs> but that's a bit mouldy. That's so not yours, though. No, that's oh, not Oh, okay. Because I listen to the audiobook. Oh, so someone might be interested in some of your other things, if that's a book that you've read or you've listened to. Oh, my God, wait. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> What is that run? The one thing I hate, or there's many things I hate about my hair, is <laughs> it's the fringe, like in the wind. I've already seen one that I donated. Oh really? Wind. Right, let me let me get in. Can you hold my camera a sec? I want to get in there. Imagine if you just like pulled the door. Oh, off. <laughs> oh it always stinks in here. Spiders and everything. <laughs> it's not quite as romantic as I imagined it to be. So. What have we got in store for us So what today? book do you reckon is one that I put what in here? you put in there? <laughs> How am I supposed it's, to it's, know it's what you... It's right in front of you. Is it? No, it's not that, is it? No. No, you wouldn't read that. <laughs> is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I was going to say. It's like a massive chunky book right in front of you. Massive chunky book. A discovery of which. <laughs> I read half of it and I was just bored by it. But there's a TV show that's all right. That it's based on. Discovery <laughs> of which. But yeah, like it's about a woman that is an academic and then she discovers that she's a witch and then she has a romance with a vampire. Oh right, actually. Can you see Kim Ji Young born 1982 anywhere? Uh, I think she's gone. I think Kim Ji Young has found a new home. Oh my god, the wife. I know, she's at the top! <laughs> she's at the top! I was about to say, I feel bad. Kim Ji Young! <laughs> oh, no! Like, you were getting so excited oh. then that someone might have taken it. We might, we might have to reclaim her. There she is. <laughs> oh! What, you want to go? You want her back? Ooh, I think you should read it. <laughs> yeah, but then that means that you win because then I've taken it out of the book box. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> Sounds about right to me. That was a really horrible angle. <laughs> Sounds about right to me. That was also a horrible angle. <laughs> Je suis unphotogenic. <laughs> Why? Like, look at that really prawn like posture. <laughs> Prawn posture. Like, did you not see how like prawny I was? We're gonna exchange. Oh, we didn't do this. Oh yeah, let's get rid of this. <laughs> Layers. <laughs> Wait. Yeet. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> like, does anyone actually use yeet anymore? I mean, like, apart from ten-year-olds. <laughs> You test my fetus. Oh, Jules Verne, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Is that yours? No. But I do have half of that book in French. Jules, Jules Verne, 20,000 leagues under the sea. I've got half of it in French at home. Yeah, I've got that bit. Where is it? Um, I can't read French. Well, it's not in French. <laughs> that looks French to me. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's English. It is. <laughs> Jules Verne is French, but I've got a edition of it half of for some reason it was only half so there's half a book at home of Jules Verne 20,000 leagues under the sea but I couldn't tell you the uh sous la mer sous la mer sous la mer something I can't say numbers 20,000 uh vent thousand <laughs> vent thousand <laughs> I don't know what 20,000 is sous la mer so this is under a child's the book why is it talking about Abraham Lincoln that sounds really boring. It's not about it being interesting. <laughs> I got it because it's French. Okay. That I'm not gonna read it in oh. English. Oh, right, okay. But, what but makes, like, why did someone write that? Why did someone read that? This is like in the 18th century. It's old, it's like, old why stuff. Why did people in the 18th century not just write decent stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know. Well, why loads, so boring? loads of classics are shit because they're boring. <laughs> why, like, why are they so boring? Because everyone was boring back then. Like, what would you would you read? Like a boring. Like, do you reckon if you were a writer now, would you write about boring stuff? No, I'd write exceptional fiction. 
<laughs> but like, why did they write such boring stuff? Like, surely their lives were not boring, or were they? Yeah, they probably like, were. But why, like, my life's boring, but I think I could write a banger. <laughs> no, I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, I think I got rid of If Cats Disappeared from the World as well. Oh, yeah, that's up there. <laughs> But I, th I think okay, open, move. open. Move. Did you put them all up really hard? No, I didn't. So people, <laughs> so people have looked and I've gone, nah. Right, we need to bring them down and we need to try and like next time we come, we need to try like we need to try and get more people to take your stuff. Oh, you don't want to read Kim Ji Young? <laughs> Caught in the act, was I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too observant. <laughs> Wait, like when we're just walking, I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't mistreat books like that. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. The thing is, I don't know if I would read it. Like, why wouldn't you? I don't know. Like, because why would I want to read about someone that's boring? Like, it's not about her being boring. Read the blurb, thank you. Yeah, but you said that she's just like everyone else. That's, a bit that's not the point. It's <laughs> say, it's say, it's it's not about someone being boring and like okay. everyone else. It's about. Wait, wait, wait. The fact that, unfortunately, that is a universal thing that happens to every woman. What happens to her? Sexual harassment, being, I don't un read about being, sexual being harassment. undermined yeah, in society. Like, right, well, don't then, but okay. some people need to read it. That's why it's in the fucking box. <laughs> some people like, need to my, read that's that. That's my everyday life, mate. Like, I don't want to read about my everyday life. Well, like, let's leave it right there and see if anyone. But anyone I think someone it. has read. Um, open waters because I can't find it. And it's a hardback because it was a brand, oh. it was a new release. So I'm happy about that. Where did you leave it in here? In here because I didn't want it to get wet. Yeah. Oh. And like whenever I put books in the other section, I always put them in the middle so that they are less likely to get soggy. Is there anything in here you fancy? Oh, uh, well, I haven't had a, a chance. gander at. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Well, as we get my fingers trapped in there, then like, that would be pretty painful. What would you do if I just shut it and then you got stuck in it? Uh, I would be stuck. What if I dragged that bench? There's a bench there, and I put it in front of the uh, thing, I would and then I got in my car and I drove off. <laughs> so, how many books have you borrowed from? Oh my God, like, damn. <laughs> um, how many books have you borrowed from? This. Uh, I've only heard, I've only borrowed one. Um, I haven't read it yet, but that is. Um, I told you earlier what it was. I know, I forgot. <laughs> it's by Aaron Dutty Roy. Excuse uh, me. God who? of God of Small God of the Small Things. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Something like that. And Drogas, the sorcerer, has defeated the evil. Fuck me, that's a weird word. <laughs> <laughs> Sesticalapus, Lord of that, Snakes. What the heck's that? Is that, a, is that even a word? It's a name. It? Oh, okay. It's a name of a species, I guess. The burning piece of hell, and now plans to use his necromantic powers to maintain the fragment's orbit. The Lord of Snakes has pledged never to harm Pandrogas, but no such oath binds his minions, such as Trans Trisandella, Lady of Bat. <laughs> and Tristan Della use, has her own uses for the enchanter's powers. Only Amber, mistress of Pandrogas, and herself, a powerful enchantress, can save her lover and the shattered earth from the nightmare world of Tristan Della's vision. That, ladies and gentlemen, is The Burning Realms by Michael Reeves. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> so after all that, now. <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright, thanks. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> right, there's literally fuck all in here that I'm interested in. Okay, well, it was worth the journey, I think. This is oh, it's a child's book. The Night of the Ticklers. <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter. Uh. <laughs> Look at your posture right now. What is that? I'm trying to stand with the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it. That's why I'm standing like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, take it, take it. 
Or do you want to be in it with me? I feel like I'm now doing exactly what you were doing. Getting all the angles in. <laughs> but no, it looks it looks better if you've got like the little cottage in the background. Uh, that arm could like do something. <laughs> I feel like it's weird that both my arms are up. Like yeah, see. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dead face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we have to just pretend that we're normal human beings. <laughs> Are we though? Can we? <laughs> Don't you just think it's so quaint that there's a sign beware of ducks? Oh that's cute. Look at the little duckies. <laughs> But where is the duck? <laughs> Where's the pond for the ducks? No, the ducks just, I think it might be over there where the bench is looking. Oh yeah, let's go over there. Let's go over to the ducks. There's probably not going to be any ducks because they're all... They're all sleeping. <laughs> sleeping, obviously. <laughs> they're all dead. <laughs> Frolicking, ready for spring. I mean, just like, because they're, they're born in spring, like all the animals, so they must be getting it on now. <laughs> Let's get it on. Brown, 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 brown. Oh, what's the saxophone song? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Careless whisper. That was the shittest <laughs> rendition you've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty poor. But yes, this is the pond. <gasps> There's a duck. There's an actual duck. There's two. There's several. Oh, where? I can only see one. Uh, in the reeds. Those things reeds. Are. The reeds. Are they reeds? I don't know. I don't know. Pond stuff. <laughs> oh, come back. Uh, I saw a couple of deers the other day. Did you? Yeah. And then I got really up close and personal. No, that sounds weird. <laughs> I got really up close and personal with the squirrel the other day. <laughs> oh, did you? Got all up, all up in its grill. Are you little ducky ducks? <laughs> oh, I can't see them anymore. Oh, well, we came at just the right time. We caught one in action. Wildlife with Charlotte Craft. <laughs> Next yeah, time, we <laughs> here we have a duck. <laughs> That's as technical as we're getting. <laughs> duck. But now we need to go buy a lemon. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I want to do the tortilla challenge as well. You know, where you have your mouth full of water, you have to whack no, someone I don't with a tortilla. <laughs> like I want to just oh, whack no, myself. You've been sandwiched in. It's like half a mile away mate, I can get out that easy. Okay. I can't. Like, I'm actually quite impressed that I managed to parallel park, I mean I didn't really parallel yeah, park. Yeah, you just drove into I it. just drove straight in, and, but I wasn't like half a mile away from the kerb. So that's something. But yeah look, so you're telling me you wouldn't be able to get out I of that. I would, I, it, it, it was wrong angle. <laughs> Calm down. Like it's pretty obvious that you could get out of that. <laughs> no offence. You meant to say none taken. <laughs> All offence taken. 